Hey, what up, bros? Welcome to day one of Mayhem League. Mm, I am, I am excited. I can't wait. I will be playing this event in hardcore solo self found as I will be attempting to both not only race the community, but a couple of you guys who said they want to have a little bit of fun with the event and see how far we can push each other to go. If you want to get involved and you want to join us, comment down below, join the Discord, or head on over to the Twitch stream today. Find out what everybody's doing, and if you want to play along with us, we'd love to have you. But if you're here to figure out what build to play, or you're not sure where you want to go, or you want to get involved in the event and you want to actually like compete, I have a couple of tips and tricks that might help you pick your class and kind of get settled in. The biggest and most important thing to Mayhem is finding a build that you're going to be comfortable with and understanding that this is a league start day one event. Pretty much everybody starts at level one. Nobody has any currency. Nobody has any gear and you're racing against everybody else. So what you would normally do might not be the best advice and what you wouldn't think to do would probably be really good advice. So if you're going to play soft core and you're going to play trade, grab a buddy, start playing together and race because those guys are going to play in a group and it's the first of 100. So that soft core, I've got no advice for you. Just get an Orobot bubbles, be an Orobot for somebody and just go like, go, go run race, go run. Because my advice of sitting on the beach for 10 days and hardcore and dying over and over is probably not the advice you're looking for. But if you're planning on playing hardcore and you can't find a build and you're struggling and you last minute, I don't know what to do. I want to try something different. What's good? What's not good? What can I race with? I have a couple of ideas that might might really help. And I was talking about this yesterday in my Twitch stream. And we were coming up with a few different things that we can do, places that we can look for builds, what was working, what wasn't working. And the biggest consensus we all came up with was heading on over to PoE Ninja. Now, I know you guys have seen PoE Ninja before. I know you see it on the background of this video right now. I know you're wondering, like, what, why, what, why, what, huh? What's going on? Well, the advice that I did and gave yesterday was to set my time machine on PoE Ninja. So if you don't know how to do this, we're going to go to PoE Ninja, PoE.Ninja. Uh, let me go back to the main site and show you. We're going to click on builds on the top of the screen. We're going to select our league to what we want to race in. In my case, I want to race in Soul Self on Calandra Hardcore. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to Time Machine Snapshot. I'm going to select Week 1 because I want to race in a Week 1 scenario. Then I'm going to take a look at different builds and different ascendancies. I'm going to pick ascendancies that catch my eye, something that I think I'd want to play. I've been toying around a lot with Guardian, with Berserker, with Saboteur, with Hierophant, and I'm gonna go as far back. If I, if I, for example, pick Hierophant, and I, I like what I'm looking at and like what I'm thinking about, so like, say this Armageddon brand guy, right? I click Hierophant, go to this Armageddon brand guy, and kind of take a look at what he's doing and where he's going. And then I'll go back and I'll look at his day one setup. And I'll kind of get a really good idea of where he was on day one and what day one can look like. Now, you can do this for everything. Figure out an ascendancy that you think looks really cool. Figure out an ascendancy you think you want to race in. And take a look at the week one. When you find something in week one that you think you like, for example, in week one, we take a look at this guy, right? It's a cultist. He's playing Vortex. So I'm going to click on this guy for Vortex. We're just going to take a look at his gear. He's got a nice helmet. He's got a, you know, a pretty standard scepter. He's got a six link at the end of week one. A nice belt he's got his flash set up his tree looks good and i want to say like man how did he progress through this and then i could take a look at day one and i could set it back to day one you can see what amulet he had what weapon he had and you see just on his weapon alone it only has like cold damage and cold multiplier and nothing too fancy you could take a look at where his ascendancy tree was and just kind of get a really really good feel for how everything is going and this is what I planned on doing, and this is what I did. And I've come up with a couple of ideas for League starting. I might go Marauder. I might go Saboteur. I might, I'm like torn between three right now, and I'm, I really need to sit down. I'm pretty sure I'll have an answer about half an hour before the event starts. And if you want to see what I'm going to be doing live, head on over to the Twitch stream as I'll be streaming the whole event and posting updates on YouTube. So if you're only a YouTube watcher, don't worry. There'll be updates. I'll give you updates like day two, day three, where I'm sitting in the event, how it's been going. But if you want to see it all live, I'll be streaming in about like four hours from now. Or if you're watching this video in the future, there's probably updates. But yeah, no, I'm I'm just going to this is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the POE Ninja. Like I said, I'm torn between Hierophant, 
some Marauder Ascendancy and a Saboteur. And I'm picking mostly Saboteur because not a lot of players that look like on week one played it. So there's like a really good chance of doing pretty well. And I see Seismic Trap in the end of week one was still doing really well. I know Seismic really well. I like Seismic a lot. So, you know, there's a really good chance that I play a little bit of this. But this is what I would do if I was you. Your other option, if you have a really cool build and you want to share it with the community because people are really struggling, comment it down below. We'd love to hear about what you're thinking. Join the Discord. We'd love to talk to you about it. And then we're going to go from there. But I will say, for those of you guys who want to sit down and raise, I think we're going to have a good time. So good luck because I got a plan. I got a bill. I'm going to come up with it. I'm going to pick it like five minutes before the event starts. I think we're going to have a good time. But to all of you guys playing today, to all of you guys racing, to all of you guys looking for a build, I wish you all the best of luck. Good luck in your competitions. And if you're only hitting 50 and you're going back to regular Calandra League and you want to go check out the Crackling Lance build that I did, there's a card above that you can go click and that'll bring you to my latest build guide. And Go try that out. Who knows? You might like it. But for me, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'm going to make a sandwich. I'm going to get ready for mayhem. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to hammer out my last minute decisions. I'm going to work on my POB. And then we're going to go from there. So, guys, good luck today. Have a lot of fun. Enjoy the events. And if I don't see you in mayhem, maybe I'll see you in Delve. And if I don't see you there, I'll see you in Calandra League. So long. Farewell. Have a good afternoon. Bye.